What's up? This is EasyOSX, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going on with the Securing Your Browsers for Mac series, and we're talking about Google Chrome. Now, I'll be using Rockmelt as my Chromium browser instead of the actual Google Chrome. However, both are running the current version, which is version 11, of Chromium. So, things may look a little bit different, but all the features should be in the same place and be the same way. So, let's get started. Start off with, go to your Chrome in the menu bar, or in my case, Rock Mount, and hit Preferences. The only security thing here you'll need to look at is if you have a search thing, you might want to turn it off. However, you generally don't get that option, so in this case, just hit Use My Location. Or you may use a more general location and pick your country of choice. Going to Personal Stuff, you'll want to turn off any Google syncing options unless you have to have it for your Chromium browser. You also want to turn off offering to save passwords on if you have something like LastPass or KeePass, any kind of password manager. However, many people still use Chrome's built-in measures for saving passwords, which is okay. You want to disable the autofill. Several malware and hacking attempts have been used against autofill to steal your personal contact info and any in your address book. So definitely want to disable this. Now we go to under the hood where most of the security settings are. To start off with, if nothing else, enable phishing and malware protection, which will def obviously do what it says. You'll also want to turn off using web servers to help resolve navigation errors. There's a chance that this could be hacked, however it's very unlikely. And if you really want to, this is an option as well, uh, turning off the send statistics back to Google or, in my case, Rockmelt. Most of this information is non-identifiable, however, if you're really paranoid, you can turn this off. Moving right along, an extra security measure would be to tell it to ask where to save each file before downloading. Most of the time, files will go straight to your downloads folder. However, this will give you an extra layer of security in case something tries to download. It'll have to ask you where to go first instead of automatically downloading. Depending on your version of Chrome, you may have a box mark for SSL and TLS. Definitely enable both of them if you have them available. Otherwise, this Manage Certificates button will only go to your keychain. And unless you're using CloudPrint, disable it as well. Finally, under Security Options, go to Content Settings. The most secure option would be to disable images, JavaScripts, and all plugins as well as pop-ups, locations, and notifications. However, again, this would limit your browsing experience to bare minimum. If you're not willing to go that far, here are the best settings for you to pick. First, you may hit block sites from setting data, but this will block all cookies. So instead, hit allow local data to be set, that way things like Facebook, YouTube, etc. will be able to set cookies but hit ignore exceptions and block third party cookies from being set that way it's harder for advertisers or tracking cookies to be set you may also think about clearing cookies and other site data when you quit the browser however this will make you re-enter the password each time you may look at all your cookies here and click any exceptions that you don't want cleared plugins are things like flash, java, etc you can disable them individually by clicking here or you can just turn them all off. One interesting note is that you can make them a click to play feature. So, if you want to do that, go to About Flags in your Chromium browser and hit Click to Play. Enable this, you'll have to restart your browser in order to activate it. Once you restart, if you go to Content Settings, you can hit Click to Play. That way, anytime a Java, QuickTime, Flash, etc. comes up, you have to click it in order for it to run. This will also speed up your browsing experience by a good bit. You'll also want to turn off pop-ups and tell it to disable any location-based services. Now, if you're using something like Foursquare, Latitude, etc., any kind of check-in services, you may want to turn this on. However, the most secure option is to turn off physical location tracking. And lastly, desktop notifications. The most secure option would be to turn them off. However, 
using Growl or other notification methods, Chrome will give you information about its update status as well as other things. So, if you want, you may have it set to ask when a site wants to show desktop net notifications. For things like Chrome, this will pop up automatically. However, other websites will have to ask your permission in order to do so. To end off the video, let's look at extensions that are good to use. First, as you know, there's Adblock Plus for Google Chrome, currently in beta, and Woat, which I've already recommended. But I would also recommend KB SSL Enforcer, which forces HTTPS encryption on all your web browsing, and FlashBlock. Now, FlashBlock will be unnecessary if you have click to play enabled from About Flags. One last one, which is totally a optional choice, is Abin Taco which is basically an opt-out of advertising network, which is, as you can see there. That's it for Google Chrome. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my blog at easyosx.wordpress.com. Like, share this video with people who use Chrome on Mac, and be sure to also check me out on Twitter at easyosx. Thank you for watching.